Welcome to another edition of Cool Cars, Interesting People. Today, perhaps you've seen her at Average Joe's with dueling pianos, or perhaps you're on a cruise to Alaska or the South Seas and you saw her performing in the, in the lounge there. She is Anna McBride. We'll have a chat with her. But right now, from Milestone Mazda, let's bring in Darren Croker, Daryl Croker, Zoom Zoom. Let's talk about this vehicle. Welcome to Milestone Mazda. This is the newly uh, redesigned 2016 Mazda CX-9. It's the seven passenger multifunctional all wheel drive vehicle that ins has incorporated the full Mazda Sky Active system. Okay, what is the Sky Active system? Remind me. The Sky Active system was designed by Mazda in that it gives you better fuel economy, better driving, better handling, all around better experience, mm -hmm. uh, lower maintenance costs. Basically, one of the best features that's out there on the marketplace for the automobile industry right now. So, this is a good one to take a bunch of friends, go out to the mountains with? Mountains, ocean, <laughs> beach, yeah. forests, everywhere. Yeah. What about some of the uh, all of the options that go on with this one? Well, this one is a mid-level model, but it's pretty well loaded up. This one has the heated steering wheel. It has heated seats. It has moonroof, backup camera. It's got blind spot monitoring system. All the safety features you'd expect in a high-performance vehicle that's multifunctional, something like this. Anybody that's taken the vehicle out will experience more than what they need in the vehicle just simply driving to work or heading out on the highways. And you guys, I mean, amazing uh, warranties on these things. The uh, warranty on it is a three-year unlimited kilometer warranty, five-year unlimited kilometer powertrain coverage. Drive as much as you want. We have guests that drive 80,000 kilometers a year. They have full coverage for that term. All right. How good are you at piano? Not very good <laughs> okay. at all. all right. And I won't <laughs> ask you to come along. Thank Let's go you. find Adam McBride. Hello? Hello? Who's there? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello, darkness smile friend. <laughs> it's nice to see you again. <laughs> How's oh, it going? Oh, wow, and a hug and everything. A hug and everything. Look at what I have for you. This is this a is beautiful little model from uh, Milestone Mazda. Oh, let me wow. shut the door so you don't lose your, lose your dog. <laughs> it's so blue. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I picked it out myself. Come along. Let's go for a cup of coffee. Oh, cool. I, I should watch these. Oh, yes. See, those Gosh, things are. Look, look, at, look that. at that. Isn't that? Yeah, you can see Did your. You just you, set your iPad in there? Or yeah. <laughs> well, I think someone needs to paint your neighbor's fence. Never. I don't yeah. know. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's do this. Uh, and coffee is good for you? Coffee is great good. for me, yes. Now, here we are on the west side, and we're going through uh, one of the plethora, or is it plethora? I don't know. Which way is it? Plethora? Plethora. Plethora. Of uh, traffic circles, and your what's your opinion on traffic circles? I love them. Do you? Yes. Well, you know the traffic keeps moving. That's the that's my that's my go-to. Let's just keep this thing moving. <laughs> are you are you are you like a, hi, a hyper? I'm a uh, bit of a <laughs> just just a bit. Yes. <laughs> Road rage is something I've got a little bit of familiarity. Oh, with. Oh, you really? Oh, uh, yes. So I'm so sorry if I've ever you know <laughs> flashed someone the wrong sign. <laughs> <laughs> if I've ever driven by you. Is everybody else a really bad driver <laughs> compared to you? No, I have to say, honestly, I'm a terrible driver. And but people take their lives into their hands when they're driving with me. But, uh, Wait, okay, so where did you, where did you grow, grow up? I grew up in Edmonton. Alberta. I was born in Edmonton, yeah, Alberta. Yeah. 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 And I went to high school out in Wetaskiwin, actually. Oh. Wetaskiwin Composite High School. Yeah. So that was our own WCHS. Oh, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. And, um... Yeah, graduated in 95, class of 95. Woohoo! Class of 95! <laughs> class of 95? Yeah. What are you, third? third well, 38. Never, okay. Never, never <laughs> there, let's just tell the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever ask me no, that No, I won't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, again, I always like to know, how did you get to Lethbridge? What, where did the, how did that how did, uh, journey get How to did I end you? up in Lethbridge? Well, yeah. it started with a boy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, of course. And uh, and that, that didn't go so well, but I loved Lethbridge, so you I did? stayed. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I moved here in 2003. and uh, Doing what? Were you, oh, did you get your teaching degree first? I got or? my, no, I, I got my teaching degree after I moved here. So, yeah, it's a bit of a long story, but found myself <laughs> a, a single mother and right. and um, decided that I was going to get my degree. And Good I owe you. that all to a prof at the UofL named George Evelyn. He was, of course. Yeah, hugely George influential. Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty hugely influential in me yeah. coming to the university, and he took me into a studio and uh, 
you know, got me through the audition process, and here I am. Yeah. Well, did you sing with him in the choir? Sang with him in the U of L yeah. Singers. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Yeah, and I was in his voice studio initially, and then he retired actually very shortly after I right. started my degree. So unfortunately, I didn't get to finish my degree with him. But yeah, yeah. But it's it's uh, it's cool to hear those stories of, uh, of how some teachers are so influential and how they yes. mean a lot to you. Yes. Yeah. Because he was not hard or he was not easy on his students. Like he no. was one of those teachers that that demanded a lot and he expected a lot and so I always hope that he's proud of me when he sees me sing because he definitely changed my life. So. Wow, that's yeah. cool. And, and so, I mean, and that's tough. You're a single mom yeah. and you're going to school mm -hmm. trying to raise a kid yeah. and then you got to feed, put food on the table. Yeah. So you were working probably at the same time, were you? Yeah, yeah. I was working, I was teaching uh, voice for the U of L Conservatory. Right. Taught that for years. It was only after I actually got my full-time teaching job that I I stopped doing that, decided to take my evenings back and spend them with my with my son. So my right. son is now 12 and he is in grade 7 at uh, Wilson Middle School. Go Wolverines! Yeah. So. <laughs> does, does, a, does a kid at 12, I mean when you're, you know, being busy as mm -hmm. you are, does he does he understand that or does yes. he resent that or, or uh, how, how does that play out? You know what, his whole little life I have been a professional musician. I've performed yep. and traveled and done so much that he is very, very used to it, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And and he's okay with all that? Now, do you think, is, is it something that he that uh, he might do as well? Has he got a good voice too? Oh, he's very talented. Yeah. Really? Extremely talented. In fact, he landed the lead in their they're in the Wilson School. Woo! Uh, yeah, the Wilson Middle School play this year. He's What's James it? for in James and the Giant Peach. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, he's James. Well, so. it's better than being the Peach. <laughs> it's better than being the Peach. <laughs> That's, That's fantastic. Right. Yeah. Okay, quick. Let me give you this. See if you can get the the. Uh, I'm gonna give you the intro, and you tell me what the song it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, <sweet> <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> it was a stretch. It was a stretch. Let's go have coffee. <laughs> All right, let's have a grande old time. <laughs> okay, seriously. All right, yes, in all seriousness. <laughs> in all seriousness, let's have a grande. <laughs> um, so, so you got the your teacher's degree. Yeah. You're at U of L. Yeah. Where where did this whole piano playing thing come? Up? Were you always a piano player? Did you always perform? Were you yeah. always doing that? Yeah. So were, were you doing the like the you're you're of course known for the dueling banjo dueling banjos dueling piano thing. Yeah. When did when did that that all begin? I didn't start doing pianos till about 2011. So okay. I had played with uh, a local band called Fast Times. Yes. One of the founding members. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we founded that back in 2007, 2008, yeah. somewhere around there. And you know that's all I did. I just and I did some community theater. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And little that, Sondheim. Little Sondheim. Yeah. That's right. It's never a little Sondheim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little hell of a lot of Sondheim. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I I just had I was kind of pl playing locally. I played with the symphony and I did a lot of stuff with uh, Musaeus. And Pl played with the symphony as yeah. in played piano or played? No, I sang. With the sang. Oh right, yeah, yeah, okay. I, when I play yeah, in yeah. the in the for yeah. yeah. So um, and it was just like a Monday night. I was sitting in my basement and uh, Cal. We had met very very briefly. Like we were yeah. mild acquaintances. Yeah. Like I I knew who he was. Who knew who I was. And he had been started dueling pianos the year before and had was bringing in these players from Calgary. Right. And one of the guys that he had booked for like Friday night had jammed out on him. And Bastard. Yeah, and he had like five days and he sent me, I just got this Facebook message and it said, hey, you know, uh, my name's Cal Toth, I'm a pl piano player, I know that you're a player and a singer, are you interested in doing dueling pianos like on Friday? <laughs> and I was, I like, I looked How at my I phone, my... I know, and yeah. I kind of, I was totally terrified and of course I was like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never had done it before. I'd seen it a couple times when I'd been to Vegas. I'd seen the whole process. Um, and it was musically, I mean, the most terrifying thing I'd ever done. Yeah. Because it's an all-request show. So there's right. no preparing for it and, you know. So I showed up on that Friday night and... And how did it go? Dove right in. You know what? It went actually spectacularly really? well. Yeah, so well that he just... We just kind of both felt like we'd really met our, our musical match. It was really awesome. 
Is it important to have a chemistry when you're yes. doing dueling pianos? Oh, yeah. So. yeah, because really it's not a duel. People think no, that no, it's right. a duel between yeah. the players, but it's actually a duel with the audience right. because they're fighting to control the show. Right. So the piano players themselves are very much working together to as a team. So the the whole show depends on the audience, right? Yeah. Whether you have the decent audience. Yeah. Or, and so now are they there because it's the dueling pianos or they just happen to be there because it's a bar? What's the, I mean, what's the situation for you? Well, if you're in Vegas, a lot of yeah. times they're there for the dueling yeah. pianos. Yeah. Um, and I but think here right. at AJ's, you know, yeah. our crowd comes because so, yeah. of the dueling pianos. Yeah. Um, but if you have a crowd who just doesn't really know what's going on, yeah, yeah. it can be difficult. You yeah. gotta really work to kind of get them going. But once they realize the idea of it, that it's so interactive, right. you know, you have a lot of, they have, total control over the show, they can request yeah. whatever they want, and we will play it whether we know it or not. Yeah, so, yeah. What do you do with this? I want to play, I want you to play um, Mike's Blah Blah yes. by something Blah. Exactly. What, and so what, uh, how do you... Some do? deep cut. Uh, yeah. You know what, I, well that happens all the time, you know, because yeah. people want to stump the piano player. And it's not that difficult. I am easy to stump, and I'll tell you why, because I, um, I didn't really hear secular music until I was about 22 years old. At all. I wow. was raised solely 100% on gospel music. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so all those songs like in the 80s, I, that was a, I have very much a dead zone there. You don't know Foreigner? <laughs> now I do. <laughs> now yeah. I do. Wow. But yeah, so I had a real dead zone. So I was playing catch up for a long time. Wow. You know, no people kidding. would request a song and I would. I would say to Cal, is this a song that everybody knows? What's this Don't Stop Believing <laughs> song? Everyone keeps asking for it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I had to kind of learn and catch up. And now you, and now you I'm, can yeah, play I'm it. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now well, if I never play it again. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, are there are there some songs that you say, oh, for the love of God. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, yes. name, name, name two of them. Name two of them. Oh, well, Sweet Caroline would be one. Is that really? Are you, are you sick well, and tired? Well, it's just, you know what? It's a song that we play every single yeah. time. And, but, but everybody gets so, they yes. get so into it. Baseball games. Yeah. Yeah. People so good. Exactly, so right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Do they do the uh, the R-rated version? They do. Oh yes. <laughs> Doing pianos can be very much R-rated. Yeah. 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 <laughs> does that does that? I mean, you being a non-secular person or or secular or whatever you are. <laughs> 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 the, no, I'm no longer the, okay. the the queen of the Baptist hymn sing. No, I'm you know I'm good to go. But, so that doesn't uh, offend oh, no, you in no, any no, way. No, not at all, you no. must have seen a lot of I've stuff. I've seen a lot. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm... So, Sweet Caroline. What's the other? What's uh, the other one? Old time rock and roll, probably. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah <sorry. laughs> and uh, what are some what are some songs that you say I'll I'll do that any day? Oh, anyway. anytime. Um, you know what? I do love playing Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> at the really? end of the day, it's a yeah. fun song to yeah. play, yeah. yeah. Um, well, it's one of those chord progressions that, you know, there's literally a thousand songs that yeah. go with it. You know, you can you can sing pretty much anything over top of that progression, so it's a lot of fun to, to play with the audience. Right. Um, I love I love Bohemian Rhapsody, it's a lot of fun. So, Gosh. Yeah. That's, that, I know that there is, when they originally did the song, there were 32 overdubs, yes. I believe. Yes. I believe that, uh, you know, yeah, so, I and I know, I know it's impossible for Queen when they were, because I saw them in Queen live. Wow. It was impossible for them really? to perform the actual version of the song. Yeah. They, they had the recorded part of, right. is this real? But then they cranked into the, yeah. so that was, uh, that's very cool. But it must be, that, that must be fun to do that it's song. It's so much fun, yeah. yeah. And it, I mean, when it's just, you have the piano and just the drum, yeah. you know, the drum yeah. part, it's it's impressive, you yeah. know. It, uh, oh, do you have the synthesizer stuff on the piano? So we, yeah, yeah, when we play, we have, um, we, we play basically with shells and we yeah. set our keyboards inside yeah. so we have access to to all the drum patches and stuff and so do you have your iPad right there when someone requests yeah, a song and then I do. we yeah. got it yeah and then so you... the iPad is for lyrics mostly yeah um, it's not really everything else is is by ear yeah so you're playing everything by ear and the lyrics but a thousand songs is hard to keep in your head every yeah. time, so, you know some but, people do though yeah you know? yeah and, and again, Cal being the guy that he is, it yeah, must be what a great partner to have. Yeah, he's a great partner. And you know what? He knows so much music. He yeah. knows just so many songs. And the, the piano playing part of it, it just it becomes natural for you as well, I can yeah, say. Yeah, it does. It yeah. really does. I, I always consider myself a, a singer first and a piano player second. I, yeah. I don't think of myself as a really terrific piano player. Um, but I've learned a lot for sure. And, yeah. and going on the cruise ship for... Right extensive periods of time where all I had was just me and the piano, that's it. There was no person sitting across from me to, to yep. save me. You know, I had right. to do everything myself. So I learned a lot. That's Speaking, a good good segue, <laughs> as I wanted to get into this, all of a sudden they say, or I don't know how this works, you're on a cruise ship, 
performing for people. Yes. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty cool gig to get. It is, it okay, is, yeah. let's take us through that one. So I started playing, uh, well, Cal was my first William Candles partner, but I started playing with the guys uh, from Vegas. This I've got a friend down who lives and plays on the strip. Um, his name is Van, yep. Walt Raymond, and he um, he actually hires for Hall in America. He's a scout for Hall in America. And, and we're not talking Holland as in uh, no. you know, Copenhagen, Holland. <laughs> no, 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 Holland, no. America. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, so he, we, we had gigged together a number of times, and he said, you know, I think that you would be really great at this, you know, at this type of show. Are you interested in going, it's a solo show, you know, it's all requests, it's just you by yourself, it's an acoustic piano, so it's not a digital piano, right. so I don't have access to like a transpose key or any drums or anything, it's strictly just me and yeah. a conservatory grand wow. Yamaha. Oh, a grand, oh yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. So I said, sure, because that's what I do. I just <laughs> say yes and don't think about yeah. the you know the repercussions of it but yeah. and so I went out last year was my first um, time doing it I went out for six weeks to Alaska wow. wow in July and August over my summer holidays on my teaching break and yeah went back and forth six times and and I thought that was a long time I in my mind I was thinking six weeks this is ridiculous really ridiculous yeah. exactly and so it was quite successful very very successful actually and so they called me back in December and they said you know, how would you like to go to Bora Bora? <laughs> they asked an Alberta girl in December. I was like, yes, sign me up. Yeah, So Bora Bora. Yeah, so I started um, April 1st, left out of San Diego and sailed to Bora Bora, down to the South Pacific, Tahiti, went to uh, Papiete and um, Fanny. Finally, that's how you pronounce it. I've yeah. seen it so many times. Yeah. Papiete. Papiete, okay. yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> Not Papete. <laughs> <laughs> So we, we did that run and then back to San Diego and then um, transitioned to Seattle and we went to Alaska for 11 wow. weeks. Now, how does that work with the school board? You... So my school board uh, was very, very kind and they gave me three months off. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because that's, yeah. And, that's a lot. And yeah. your son? You had to leave your son? I left my son for uh, the first few weeks and then I actually pulled him out of school and brought him with me on the boat. What a mother you are. I know. I hope. I hope. <laughs> he turns into something. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. What a great, great. No. Okay. Yeah. So uh, of course you, you think of oh you're going to Papiete and mm -hmm. you're going to Bora Bora. Yeah. It's all luxury and it's all wonderful. Yeah. Is it or is this really work? Oh, it's or definitely it work. Yeah. No, it really is definitely. It, it's it's work. But you know what? It's like a vacation. Like it's it's yeah. awesome. That's what yeah. I call it. You know my my um, Gary, my partner, my husband. What if, Everyone whatever you call him. him. Whatever you call him. That um, guy. My other half. Yeah. My better half. <laughs> he came with me for the first five weeks of yeah. the trip. Yeah. So all through April. So he came to the South Pacific. And then I was on my own for a few weeks. And then Joel, my son, arrived. Oh, that's nice. And in June. Yeah. So of the 16 weeks that I was on board, I had family with me for about 10 of them. So okay. Take us through a typical day. So a typical day. Okay. You're in Papiete. Yeah. And you uh, you get up at uh, 7 in the morning. And no, no. It's 10.30. No, it's it's exactly. 11. It's noon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rockstar hours. And know who you're talking to. And, and what kind of a room are you in? So I had my own venue. I had a, my own bar, basically. So I have like uh, this conservatory grand, and they built a, a bar specifically in the exact shape oh, of. A I, thought, I thought you were talking about your room. Oh my room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my own room. room. I, was I do so have my own state room. Okay. Yeah. So, as a, if for accommodations, yeah, they give me a state room. I got a, a, the same room that a, a guest gets. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because my then, position then. is considered it's like a guest entertainer, basically. Right. And. Um, but then you have your own bar when you but go. Then to I have the, my own bar when I perform, yeah. and there's yeah a bar that people sit around. There's lots of tables and chairs and stuff. And yeah. It sits about I don't know maybe a hundred. It's it's small, about a right. hundred people. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so you you get up at noon. Yeah. Then you. you then you, I have you, my whole day to myself, and I just do whatever I want. Really? There, yeah. You, you've for got, the most part, you know, I don't have any other duties except for some safety things. Like right. so, I. Um, Holland is actually a very safety conscious cruise line. If you ever cruise yeah. with them, so we uh, every time we take off, leave port, we have a safety drill, a lifeboat drill. So everyone who's on board has to go find their lifeboat, and, yeah. and I was part of, of helping them do right, that. Right. Sure. Yeah. But so, so that gives but you an opportunity, that, you get to go out onto the islands or into, oh yeah, I got into to, Papete. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and then what time do you have to be back for? What, what's, um, what's I was your usually, gig? Yeah, well I started at 9 most nights. 9 o'clock. And yeah, and so I'd be back by 7.30, 8 yeah. o'clock and yeah, get mm -hmm. ready and then, and then and, go. And how long is your show? Three hours. Yeah. Three oh. plus hours. Yeah. And so. no breaks. So I would take, I'd go from, um, well I would take a small break actually between 10 o'clock and 11 and, yeah. then, and then that was it yeah and uh, audience reaction was yeah terrific love yeah 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 
because I mean, how would you compare uh, a cruise ship audience to a, you know, because they're they're there, they want to be entertained. They're yeah. they're, they're a distinct it's audience. It's a totally different yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, it's a completely different show. Yeah. In a, in a bar, it's well, you mentioned before, like it's it's definitely raunchier. It's a lot rowdier. It's it's louder. Yeah. I, I found on the cruise ship they they were there to really listen. You know, well, how nice happened. is that? It was for, great. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was awesome. So I got to do amazing music that like I loved. You know, whereas. At the, you know, in the kind of the pub setting or the, the bar setting, it's, yep. it's different. You know, you're kind of, they want you to rock out a lot yeah. more and it's loud. And so are you there saying, hey, uh, how are you doing? Where are you from? What are you doing? How long? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, is exactly. that right? You're yeah. from Lethbridge. Interesting. Yeah. I'm from Lethbridge too. Yeah. Is that, this is, so that's, you get to have a little bit of rapport with the audience? I did, absolutely. Yeah. And I got yeah. to know, I made lots of really, really great friends. Interesting. That, uh, yeah, that I still keep in touch with, um, both passengers and fellow yeah. musicians and stuff. So, are, now is this a set list of songs that you do, or is that also a, a request show? It turns into an all request show. So, yeah, I would start with um, the first hour would Feelings, be. Feelings, nothing. More. I never played that. No, you never did? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did not. No. Wow. I no one ever requests feelings anymore. Oh, no, no, they request it. Oh, they yeah. but you don't play it. <laughs> I draw the line mark. <laughs> okay, so lots what, of John Denver. <laughs> is, is there? Yeah. Yeah, John Denver, Bob Dylan. Um, I mean, obviously, slipped my mind. Neil Sedaka. Neil Sedaka. <laughs> yes. Exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond. All the Neils. All the Neils were represented. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Is, I mean, so, uh, but whatever they Johnny asked. Johnny Mitchell. Were, yeah. yeah, I mean, just a ton of really great music, yeah. Do you ever, uh, you know, uh, bring out your Janis Joplin? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hold that out a few <laughs> times. Yeah. Who is your all-time favorite performer ever in the history of oh, anything? Man. Like, if you can come up with a few Gee. of the... You know who I just like, fell in love with their music while I was on the ship was Bruce Springsteen, actually. Really? I, I hadn't really... Da, three, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I had not dove into that whole yeah. repertoire, and I, I did on the ship, and I really loved it. Yeah. My all-time favorite, I'm. that is such a hard question. I'm like, a huge Sarah Bareilles fan, so of kind of yeah. more recent. That's, right. Um, uh, Celine Dion, obviously. Yeah. Um, like a, a like female vocalist, like a like a Stevie Nicks type, or is or I like do a love Bette, Stevie Bette, Nicks, Midler. Bette Midler. Yeah. Whitney Houston is yeah. probably, in yeah. my opinion, was like the greatest yeah. voice yeah. of all time. I was just thinking that today, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so how much fun does it? I mean, towards the end of the the run, are you ready to get done? Is it or has yes. it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I imagine. I was on for four months, so yeah. yeah. By the end of it, I was ready to go home. For sure. What What about what about the ship itself and and. Like, is there claustrophobia on there, or do you... It starts to feel small. Yeah. Yeah, you, um, even though it's huge, yeah. but, you know, you really are kind of a prisoner at the end of the yeah. day, yeah. you know, especially on, when we were on our, our South Pacific voyage, there was, we would have six and seven sea days in yeah. a row, wow. where yeah. oh, it's wow. just nothing but blue. Oh, for, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, and for someone like me, I did find that to be a little bit um, stifling, like, yeah. it was, it was kind of... After a while, it gets it's to you, sure. for sure. Yeah, yeah but it's nice to see. I mean, I feel like I'm complaining about the, you're, the craziest you're thing. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not that big of a princess. But you know what? Really, it was it was incredible. It was Don't incredible. say princess when you work for Holland. <laughs> Yeah. That's great. <laughs> no, that's just, so. Uh, but it's just one of the best gigs you've ever it's had. It's an awesome gig. Yeah. yeah it's what, incredible what about gig. this perception of? I don't know if this is true or not. Where other people saying, "Oh, you're working for a, a cruise ship." Really? Yes, yeah. Is there that perception? I, I mean, think cause, so. You know, because I'm surprised at how many people I can name that are from Lethbridge that have done cruise yeah, ships yeah. And, and the, the time of their lives, yeah, including you. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. great experience. Yeah. I think it's even better if you're someone who is a little bit younger, maybe yeah. doesn't have, you know, children, spouse at home, yeah. you know, in your early 20s, haven't kind of laid down any roots yet. I mean, that's yeah. it's the perfect job. You see the world. They pay all expenses paid. You know, yeah. I, I didn't is, pay is any it, travel expenses. You don't have to tell me how much, but is it a good paying yeah, gig? Yeah, it's an excellent paying gig yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yes, all in American dollars, which oh, is even better. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, so it's it's a great paying gig. You travel and see the world. 
you know, yeah. I mean, for someone like me who has I had a solo show, that's all I did. So yeah. I, I really... And you don't have to rely on anybody else. You just no, do your thing. Yeah. it's all me. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's that's great and terrifying at the same time. Because mm -hmm. right? there's no one... If I didn't know a song, I had to either try and learn it on the yeah. spot, which or, happened a number of times, or, or just uh, kind of... Call Cal. Cal. Right. Cal, I'm, I'm on stage right now. Okay, what are the keys? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's yeah. right. So, where do, you, where do you see this going? Is this going to be a... I, I mean... Where are you at your in your career? Because you're you know you're getting later later thirties. Yeah. But I mean you've got a child. You're still yeah. a teacher. Yeah, I am. What so what teacher. what are the what's going through your mind? Like can you say teaching? Plah, I can go back to that. Or is it I'm going to be a, an entertainer? Or how does it, what what goes through your mind with I don't all know. of that? No, you know I I actually did a CD before I, I left, thinking because the first time I did the contract, people were you know genuinely annoyed at me for not having anything to really? sell them. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, the passengers, and so I thought, well, if I go back, I'll I'll do a little an, an album and, and see what happens. And it was a really good decision. People wow. loved it. I sold a ton of music, and and I say that to say that um, I, it had never really occurred to me to to do it as anything more than just a, a side, a small side yeah. thing. But I think that if I was willing to travel and to to kind of jump off that cliff, I, you know, I could try it, but doing that is, is terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. But. I mean, I'm a full-time teacher. I have a permanent contract, which yeah. is difficult to get as a yeah. teacher. You yeah. know, I've got a wonderful job. I love my job. Yeah. And when I left for those few months, my students, you know, said, what are you doing? Are you <laughs> yeah. coming back? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I would have to think really long and hard before I ever did anything like that. But, um, you know, but then the, the ships also offered me full-time work. I mean, I could wow. have stayed on for the next few years. That is, but it is such a tough decision when you've got a 12 year old. Yes, yeah. I mean, and it's, you've got to look after and, him. And I would never, yeah, yeah, I would never be able to do that unless I was able to take him with me and, you yeah. know, but then he's got his own life, you know, he's yeah. James. Yeah, he's James. Yeah, he's yeah. That doesn't happen on a cruise ship. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty exciting times. To, I mean, uh, yeah. you've, you've had some great opportunities and there's still so many more to come, right? I have, I have. I've been really, really lucky. I've met a lot of really amazing people. I got to open for Keith Urban back in 2003. What? Yeah, when he Keith came Keith Urban? Through. Yeah. Came through here? Yeah. He came what? through, uh, it was Keith Urban and Carolyn Don Johnson right. and Jimmy Rankin. Right. Do you remember that concert? Yes, yeah. yeah. You, what, what were you? So I, <laughs> we... I don't remember you on They that did one. that contest, that LA Idol contest, oh. and the winners got to perform. So I got to sing and uh, Theo Chan's got to sing and oh, Trevor who's, Panzer. who's Theo Chan? Yeah, I know. Trevor Panzer, what a putz. <laughs> Oh, he sang too. He sang too. Oh, yeah. What did you sing? I sang at last at a James. That's one of my favorite songs. Oh, very nice. And yeah. so, what is, so what does that get you? Did you get to meet Keith Urban? I did. Oh, yes. Nice. Yes. Nice guy. Yeah. Sorry. Is he a nice guy? He's did you a like nice him? Guy. Yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy him? I did. He, did he, what he was did wonderful. He was yeah. very, very friendly. Yeah. That's nice. Well, Jimmy Rankin is one of my favorite. You want to talk about favorites? I mean, yeah. the Rankin family was yeah. a massive influence on me. As yeah. A, as a Canadian girl, for sure, I, oh, I right. loved their music, and so Great. meeting him was huge. I'm bigger than Keith Urban was <laughs> for me. I loved Jimmy Rankin. So, <laughs> could you could you see yourself kind of getting an album together and doing a tour? I could, yeah, I, I really actually am going to try and pursue really? something. Yeah, I am. Yeah. and and doing like original music and and uh, doing some Canadian venues. And I mean, I I ask this with all respect and everything. Are are you are you getting to the point where you're getting too old for this? Well, I, that's the that's always what stopped me. Is, I mean, yeah. I felt like I was too old for this when I was 28, yeah, let alone yeah. 10 years later. You know? Yeah. Um, but you, honestly, the reaction that I have gotten yeah. um, just as a performer, and then when they hear my original music, has been overwhelming, actually. Wow. Yeah, yeah. People, people would come, they would buy my CD on the Monday, and by the Friday, they knew all my songs and would come and request them. Oh, that's, <laughs> a, wow. I know, it was incredible. That happened every week. Well, that's, that's inspiring. That. I know it was yeah. really really cool, and, and actually, I worked with a number of musicians on the ship who, um, who had you know connections with Canadian managers, and, and and basically said to me, you know what, you really should be touring this stuff. It's good. People will people want to hear it. So yeah, so I think good. I might. So we're we're talking like the Nashville scene and uh, yeah, writing I got some to music. meet some amazing amazing people from Nashville. I I got to meet some of my childhood musical heroes actually. Really? Who did yeah, you get I to happen to. Well, these are, are gospel people, so <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna have any clue what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I was raised on southern gospel music, and I happened to be on the ship. My last two weeks on the ship were chartered cruises, so that means that 
you know, a, a specific group takes over the ship and, and charters the boat. And um, my the last two weeks were gospel charters. Wow. Big, yeah, big speakers okay. from the from the U.S. and they had brought you know these musical acts with them, and these were people that I had grown up listening to, and, wow. and I got to to meet and to play with and to sing with, and, and How it was cool very that? very cool. Yeah, it was that was probably the highlight of the trip for me was getting to meet some people that I had admired my entire life. Wow. Yeah. So what original music that you do? Uh, what's your inspiration? What kind of music is it? What was there a genre you would call it? Is yeah, I it, think it's kind of like kind of pop singer songwriter type pop. I very much much like in the vein of Sarah Bareilles and even John Denver and, and oh, yeah. kind of you know really singer songwriter type stuff. Uh, do you write all on your own and do your own stuff? I do. Your yeah, band? I yeah. write all on my own. Yeah. 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 So we leave it. At, we leave it at that. You're gonna probably get another cruise. Yes. And then yes. Uh, and then stay as, te as a teacher maybe. Stay or as a teacher right for now. now. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 They've been so good to me. My, my school division yeah. has been wonderful. Okay. Palliser, go Palliser. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you're a good cheerleader. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, it's you know, life is good. Life is really good. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. I want to finish off with the song okay. together, you and me. All right. Let's do a, a since it's a gospel-y thing, how about okay. a little Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hey, Anna, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <All right. laughs>